Oh. How about if we both do it together? Oh, what are we doing? Uh, when I one, two, three. Welcome to video 10.8D, Secant Secant Power Theorem. This video is extra special. It's the last video I need to make for the entire year, because I've already got chapters 11, 12, 13, etc. So to commemorate this special uh, video, I've invited my roommate, Mrs. Burko, to help me with the problem. So here we go. I'll do the first one, and she'll do the second one. All right, so example 3A, uh, PA is 5. PB is 8, I like to draw like that. PD is 4, and they want to find PC, um, this thing right here. So what I'll do is I'll just put X in for that part and work the problem out. Um, hopefully you know by now, ow equals ow. Outside times whole equals outside times whole. So okay, 5 times 4 equals uh, 4 times x. Okay. Um. Wait, 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 Mr. Olson. I'm not really, I'm a little unsure about the whole here. Um, 5 times, oh, 5 times 8. Okay. And then what about this piece? I get that this is the outside, but what's the whole there? Oh, you're right. It's x plus 4. Okay. And I labeled that earlier. I would have Thank you so much. Yeah, so no problem. 4 times x plus 4. All right, so 40 equals 4x plus 16. Bringing the 4x over here, doing some mental math. Is that maybe 24 if I've done my math correct? So x equals 6. So um, I guess 6 is my answer. Mm, are you sure you answered the question, though? So it looks oh. like X is six. What was X though? Oh, you're right. <clears throat> Two mistakes. So PC is what they want. So PC would actually be the, oh, okay, X plus four. So PC equals X plus four. PC equals six plus four. PC equals 10. Okay, phew. Thank, thank goodness you were here. Okay. Now I'm nervous. It's That's all right. Pressure. Why don't you try it? All right. So let's see what we've got here. It looks like the same type of problem. So I'm going to label. So PB, I like how you did that with the arrows. So I'm going to say PB, right, is 6. Mm -hmm. And I know PA is 4. Let's see. CD, oh, now I know this guy is 5. And, and sometimes I like to move so they can see what you're doing. Oh, okay. sorry. Just a little video. Yeah, tip. there okay. you go. All right. All right, and let's see, I'm trying to find PD, so I'm just going to call that X here. All right, so I learned ow <laughs> equals ow. <laughs> so let's take a look here. My outside, it looks like it's four. And then if I remember from over there, my whole is, I guess, six. And then my outside, I've got X, and then it looks like for a whole, I've got oh. five. I think you made the same mistake. Come here. Come you don't here. just multiply numbers you see. Oh, Maybe if you drew the oh, whole. Oh, I should have labeled yes. it like you yeah. said. Yeah. Interesting she caught my mistake but made the same one. I told you it was last <laughs> yes. All right, so let's see. My outside was x, but my whole was x plus 5. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think mine's harder than his, just saying. All right, so I've got 24 equals, if I distribute the x, I've got x squared plus 5x, so it looks like I've got a quadratic Give here. Give some eye contact every oh, now and then. Oh, sorry. Okay. sorry. Keep forgetting about you out there. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get this set equal to zero. Yeah. So we can I usually see. bring the stuff over there because I like the positive. Do oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. I'm going to bring this okay. over here. Yeah. I wasn't so I'm sure. I'm going to do a little of this. 5x, I'm going to subtract that 24. Are we okay if I put my equal zero G over there? Commutative, yeah, there, you're good. Okay. All right, so factoring, I'm going to watch my dot. I'm getting on yeah. the side here. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll give you some space over here. Ooh. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take this guy, right? I know I got something like this. And I got my x's. And so what am I looking for? Multiplies to negative 24 and adds to a positive 5. So I'm thinking 8 and 3, and then if I want a positive 5, I'm thinking this is going to be my positive I do the same minus thing. here. Sometimes I do the oi check. I don't know if you do that. Just if you ever do the 
Just to make sure. Oh. So draw an arrow here. Here? And that's what, minus 3x? Oh, yes. And then here. Oh, and then is, plus 8x? And then what does that sum? Oh, 8x minus 3x gives me a positive 5 And then I usually put a checkers there. That's just how we, if you want to learn. A little okay. check? Yep. So, okay. Oh, okay. Nice. So now, if x plus 8 is equal to 0, I guess I know x. Usually I do chunkers then. <gasps> I just, I'm a, if you want to do it my way. So chunk it's each chunkers. thing. You just write a little chunk around each. A box? Yeah, oh, a box. We chunker. call it chunkers. A yeah. chunker? Mm -hmm. And do I write x plus 8 equals 0? Or we do it in our head. We do. Okay. So we still know. Yeah. Negative 8. Okay. Right? Cool, and then I got another chunker. You, yeah. Can I box they the like chunker? They like to see the box. Yeah. I'll box the chunker, mm -hmm. I like that. All right, so if x minus 3 equals 0, then I got x equals 3. Wow, so this one I got two solutions. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I think what? you forgot. What? Um, That's so right, right? We set up the equation, we solved for x, and then in geometry, you got to make sure that it makes sense in the problem. Can you go to the problem oh, over here? Over here. So, and so oh. this is x. I guess that can't really be negative. We can't have a negative length. Mm, so. You're right. So I guess this is not yeah. really an option. And then um, instead of x, you know, they really care about PD. Uh, so. so if x equals 3, then I know PD, which was x, is equal to 3. Oh, good job, Mrs. Burke. Thank you. Let's celebrate with the final Let's guy. Let's do it. Oh. All right, the last video of the year.